plague narratives tend to teach us about the social and psychological effects of a disorder, the way that it puts put pressure on governments and families, uh, on, even on our sense of identity. Uh, and I want to recommend a novella from 1939 by the American writer Catherine M. Porter that has a lot to teach us, I think, about how an epi epidemic can reorganize our very sense of time. Porter wrote her story in 1939 in the of World War II. It was looking back at the 1918 influenza epidemic, which was perpetuated, of course, by the First World War. And her protagonist is a young female newspaper writer in Denver, Colorado, which had been Porter's experience during the First War. Throughout, there's a lot of emphasis on the experience of time during a plague, about the way that plague marks things into before and after, the way that it changes our sense of what the future might hold, and the way that we wait in suspended animation, or the way we wait in quarantine, or we wait for a hospital bed, or we wait for a doctor, or we wait for somebody to come home who's been away. Protagonist survives, although not everyone around her does, and the book's last lines suggest that the experience of the future that she's about to walk into will be markedly different than it had been.